I was thinking of taking a swim, but the thought of being harpooned convinced me I should sit it out. I was 240 pounds of deep fried quivering manhood. I felt like my life couldn't get any worse. Oh, no, oh, great. Less than six months after surgery, I'm 70 pounds lighter. I'm half the man I used to be. I'm windswept and magnificent, at least in my own mind, and comfortable in my clothes. What a concept. Call Dr. Barker today for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. Go one-on-one -on -one today. I mean, you know, Tiger hangs on my every word. You know how much he relies on my advice, don't you? Well, I, I never heard it quite put like that. You don't believe me, do you? Well, it's not that I don't believe you, but I... Okay, I, watch this. Well, that wasn't quite what I meant, you know? Will you just leave me alone? I'm honestly, just leave me alone. Quit stalking me. Hey, security, can you get him out of here, please? No, 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 no there's no. Watch the hair, watch the hair. You need me? You need me? You're nothing without me? I crochet you a head cover! Hello there. For the Smale Group, I'm David Feherty, and I am not just a paid endorser. In fact, since my idiot stepson married into the Smale family, looks like I'm pretty much running the show around here. All right then, where's my golf cart? Shopping for a new car or truck? Visit us online or on the lot. SmaleAuto.com or just head east on Route 30 to Greensburg. You can't miss us. Smale. Is that an Irish name? There's only two ways, because you start here, Again, by the time you've returned the club to the ball, it's gone from here to there. You catch it right in the hosel and it goes boom over there. You know, hopefully it hits somebody, hopefully it'll hit somebody with a prosthetic leg rather than a real one. Don't, don't see any there. They're all real legs. But just in case I get this right, there's only two ways you can do that. You can either let your weight move forwards towards your toes, because what that does is it moves the club forwards, like that. Or you can let your arms get away from your body. Like this. Those are the only two ways that it can go there. If, if you can find out a third way, then you should be working in the circus. <laughs> you know? So if I were to try to shank this, I would let my arms there you go. There you go. Right there. See, I was kind of over there. Now that's your classic shank on the ground. And you can hit twelve of those in a row, you know, and just work your way around the green completely. <laughs> that's what drives people, you know, to uh, <laughs> Anybody not often, seen that shot? You'll not often see two of those in a row. <laughs> but if you're practicing this, if you're practicing around the green, it's really a left-handed motion, like that. That club never passes my hands, and that's how, you know, you practice that low shot. Like that, just, you know, holding that face square, like that. Now, if you don't have a, if you don't have a left arm, you're screwed. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. So we all arrived to the Ritz Carlton Half Moon Bay last night and we got here in our brand new 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So that was pretty cool. Not a bad car to be driving around all week. Uh, we woke up this morning, nine o'clock breakfast, and who's there? David Faraday, funniest man in golf. It's true, he was hilarious. We met the contest winners, Clark and Charlotte, um, and then we headed out to the first tee, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day. David Faraday had the chance to critique each of our golf swings, and um, I think he was just as surprised as we were that Clark is a little bit new to the game of golf. Are, are you left-handed by any no, chance? Right You're right-handed? Do you normally play with your left hand below right? I don't normally play. You don't normally play? Okay. You know, coming out here, he obviously doesn't play a whole lot of golf. The last time I golfed, I was trying to get the ball through the windmill. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, well, using the, uh, the, the word as a verb is a dead giveaway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's all right. It's a perfect golfing day. Nice, cool sort of marine layer we got going here. Hopefully there won't be an earthquake. <laughs> Although a minor earthquake is a good thing uh, in rounds like these because you can always blame it. You know, that's why I missed that putt. It was left edge when I hit it. You know, eventually, uh, Clark, somebody has to hit or, you know, the whole thing grinds to a halt. <laughs> Just thinking the fairway's 100 yards wide there and I can't see anybody between here and L.A. Uh, 
you might as well go ahead. We had breakfast with David Faraday, and and he was just hilarious. He was he was very personable, very very funny. Okay, you know what? Um, that, that sucked. Yeah. 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 I was I was you know searching there for a little while to think of something positive, but something. but nothing came to mind. When I teed off, he was giving me instruction on how to do it, and he was a great guy. I, I really enjoyed had, spending time with him. Yep, you almost hit him that time. But that was my plan. I was hoping that you would catch one of our photographers, you know, right in the twins' bullpen. That's, uh, you know, the only way to ruin a day like this is to play golf on it. This will be a bit of a shock. You know, coming out here, he obviously doesn't play a whole lot of golf. The great thing about golf, you know, you can come out and you're in a beautiful environment, and uh, hopefully, you know, he doesn't feel any pressure that he has to play well or whatever, that uh, he and his wife can, can go out and just enjoy the day and enjoy being in the, in the gym. Uh, and the rest of the trip. You know, the Ritz Carlton here at Half Moon Bay and, and the surrounding area. I think the most beautiful coastline uh, in the United States, maybe some of the most beautiful coastline in the world. And there's great golf here as well. Faraday is one of the most remarkable personalities in golf, unquestionably. The guy is so sharp, and as funny as he is, he backs it up with that golf experience. The fact that he's such a great golfer, he can impart a little wisdom to somebody who's never played golf. You can be, you know, six or 600 like McCord and uh, go out there and, and have fun on the golf course and uh, I think that's what sets it apart you know the people that are interested in it that watch it that are uh, uh, addicted to it they, they play it apart from me I had the sense to give up I had a great time doing this it was a mixture of you know wow I hit that shot and then oh crap that's frustrating um, but I'm waiting for it I'm happy you know. Analyze my swing. Let me, David, Heck yeah, dude. Analyze my swing first. I, you know, specifically don't do this uh, because, uh, you know, it's. I try not to do other people's jobs. That would be Peter Costas or something but like just, that. But you know, I mean, just, I'll take a shot at okay. it. Absolutely. Right. So obviously, I'd be hitting a driver, but it's pretty good swing. That's, you know, I've had people change clubs for a photograph. <laughs> you know, when they're having their photograph, they yeah. go, oh, I got the wrong club. <laughs> Photograph. <laughs> oh, mother of <laughs> Is that the swing you, you actually use? <laughs> it is, actually. That's oh, the one. That's man. the wow. one I got. He, he, some serious moving parts there, kind of like at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're right. If you telestrate that, you know, you're writing happy birthday up here and like, you know, Merry Christmas on the follow through. And he's our best, best swing. Yeah. <laughs> the top. See, see, if you start oh. with your feet like Charlie Chaplin, <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult to turn your hips or move your weight. This is not you, right. You really got to, well, you know, that's you're gonna, if you're going to be walks, anything, you want to be a little sort of... He kind of has a little bit of <laughs> yeah. that. Now, this... Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. That looks like we're holding a butcher's knife. Just hit that marginally. You almost hit Dan on the <laughs> downswing. I'm actually a lefty. You really want to What's, see this? Oh, this oh, is, oh, oh no. Everybody. You know what? <laughs> you always hear the left-hander has a beautiful swing. Wait a minute. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna change that whole image here. Oh, not too close. Fritzy, seriously? Oh! <laughs> they sit up the middle. That's beautiful got footwork. A of <laughs> he, he, beautiful he, footwork. He's he's the not many people. He avoided the pass rush. Even a left hander. Not many people. You know what? Impact are little, like this. Like a bowling move. <laughs> you know? Like you trying to pick up the 7 10 split. But remember when <laughs> Greg Norman's back foot would always slide? Like That's right. Fritzy yeah. moves. But, but, but Greg <laughs> slid yeah. this way, you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah, Fritzy <laughs> Fritzy didn't takes actually a step. Slide. <laughs> Nothing beats the perfect drive. Today's lesson is the stance. It's important to find your natural driving position. Just picture yourself on a heated, comfortable, ventilated leather seat that remembers the exact position that you like most. And that, my friends, is how you drive. Power memory seat for ultimate comfort on the Hyundai Genesis. Nothing beats the perfect drive. Today's lesson is on avoiding hazards. Hazards are everywhere. So to steer clear, all you've got to do is align 
settle in, focus, and then trust your instincts. Four. Yeah, I noticed. Avoid hazards with blind spot detection on the Hyundai Genesis. The moment this light comes on, Bridgestone technology comes to life. Here's where the new hydro cores are made. Then special layers are added. Finally, it's covered in a patented dual dimple design. Everything done in here is so you play better out there. No, 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 no. You need a little more shoulder turn. Ball magnets. Every course has them, but you can fly over their sinister suction with a powerful Cobra driver. Sinister suction? The 2008 L4V drivers. Four variables for one long drive. When you've got the power to go deep, you need to practice your power pose. What do you think? You just a little more squint. 2008 Speed Drivers. Longer, straighter, convention busting. You ever wonder what they think about as those long drives are flying through the air? I've planned my outfit for tomorrow. Now that's multitasking. The 2008 Speed Drivers. Longer, straighter, convention busting. Golf is a game typified by measured restraint. Then again, if you drive it like that, a little drama doesn't hurt. The 2008 Speed Drivers. Longer, straighter, convention busting. You ever wonder why they stack range balls just like cannonballs? Boom. And there goes that little mystery. 2008 Speed Drivers. Longer, straighter, convention busting. Cobra Speed Drivers allow you to hit it long and straight, which helps when you're hitting it into the wind. Thanks, mate. The 2008 Speed Drivers. Longer, straighter, convention busting. Question, does the Cobra Speed Driver turn you into a maniacal dogleg corner cutting rebel? Nice, where did you steal that chair? Evidently so. The 2008 Speed Drivers, longer, straighter, convention busting. Right here in Georgia is where Bridgestone engineers their innovative golf balls. Our tour pros play a major role in their design. It's high technology that creates high performance golf balls like our new B330s with hydrocores. Hey, come on through. So hard to get good health these days. Bridgestone. Can someone explain these low compression RXs? Yes, I believe someone can. Davis, a little help here, please? Sure. See, you have to compress the ball to boom the ball. Explain compression to me. We can well, 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 I wouldn't trust any of them. Lee, assistant manager. Hi. How are you? I'll tell you about compression. Okay. Bridgestone. Wow, you're fast. I swing fast too. Then you should be using the B330s. Hey, thanks. No problem. For swing speeds above 105 miles an hour. Boom it. The ball you need is the one that fits your speed. Ooh. Slow swing speed coming. Here you go. Got some RXs right here. Bridgestone. Sir, I'm not sure if those pants are working for you. No? And I know that the ball doesn't fit you. What? You got a 115 mile an hour swing like Davis Love here? Uh, 
ever win a tour championship like Brand Snedeker? No. Play what fits your game, not some pros. Good luck with these. Yep. And really good luck with that. Yeah. Ow. Bridgestone. Yeah, can I get those pro balls? <laughs> Have you got 118 mile an hour club speed like Fred over there? Oh. You must be a top tour pro like Matt. Uh, no. Not ranked, really. <laughs> Play what fits your game, not some pros. Hey. Come in too, please. Thank you. Bridgestone. Gentlemen, would you mind if I got your thoughts on our summer line? Sure. Sure. Frederick is sporting our B330, a classic statement of power. Matthew is winning with a more softer, sensitive feel, B330S. Lee is RX Caliente. Ay, 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 this one goes the distance. You've got to be kidding me. Bridgestone. Bridgestone tires perform best when you need it most. Like when golf commentator David Faraday is on his way to work. Let's go. David has the Bridgestone Taranza tires. And now we drive. Engineered with Serenity technology to absorb road noise for a quiet ride. So quiet. Is this a golf whisper? No. This is a golf whisper. Huh? I mean... Oh. <laughs> sure, Camilo's got one of the hottest faces in golf, but no, so do I. Hotter face, faster ball speed, longer drive. The new speed drivers from Cobra. Do you play with blade irons and stiff shafts like most tour pros? Professor David Faherty here at Bridgestone University. The odds are those just don't fit you. And the same is true for your golf ball, which is why we at Bridgestone have developed four different tour B330 models. Two models for faster swing speeds like pros Fred Couples and Matt Kutcher who swing well over 105 miles per hour and two for the vast majority of us mere mortals who swing under 105 miles per hour. I myself, I've been clocked at 58 kilometers per hour. The black B330 is for those super boomers like Fred Couples who prefer an edge on added distance while the blue B330S is for Matt Kutcher who likes the extra spin of a ballerina around the greens. And guess what, students? For the other 75% of us who swing below 105 miles per hour, we get the same options as the pros, but with lower compression cores. Because you have to compress the ball to boom the ball. This is not rocket science, folks. Although I can do that as well. The red RX is for those wanting a power boost. And the white RX is for all those spin doctors out there. After over 150,000 golf ball fittings, Bridgestone is bridging the gap between you and the pros. Hear that? That is the sound of a high compression golf ball. The B330, played by Fred Couples. Sadly though, we mortals don't play like the pros. But you can bridge that gap. Try Bridgestone's RX, with a softer core for less spin off those rare miss hits. Because when you compress the ball, you boom the ball. Bridgestone, bridging the gap between you and the pros. Bridgestone. Do you ever slice your drives over here? Or do you hook them over here? What you need is therapy or less side spin. So try Bridgestone's new E6 with a super soft core for straighter flights. For higher flights, fly the E5. For longer flights, fly the E7. Try Bridgestone's new E series. I mean, what else have you got to do? Bridgestone. There's an age-old golf question. Is it the archer or the arrow? Well, it's a bit of both. So Bridgestone makes two B330s for pro swing speeds and two RXs for moderate swing speeds. 
Isn't that right, Sitting Bull? Dog. Bridgestone's RXs. Bridging the gap between you and the pros. Bridgestone. There's a fast-growing species emerging all over the world. Unique RXs with soft inner cores. You're looking a little soft yourself there. This helps them compress when attacked. And with their distinct dual dimple markings, makes them fly great distances, unlike Lumpy. Bridgestone's RXs, bridging the gap between you and the pros. Bridgestone. Now I know the first thing you think of when you look at this is, this is the first ball with a gradational core and a seamless cover. Well, I gotta tell you, that's just the box. This is the new E5 from Bridgestone, the first two-piece ball with a urethane cover that gives you both distance and control. And it has the prettiest box. Ah, the soft compression of the E6. It's that that'll help you reduce your hooks and slices off the tee. Go ahead and tee up the E6. It's a pleasant change playing from the fairway. This is the new E7 from Bridgestone, designed for flat out distance. And I can assure you, you may need an extra piece of equipment, such as these, to either find your golf ball or your caddy behind you. Professor David Faherty here at Bridgestone University. What's the difference in E-series golf balls, you ask? Huh? Or maybe you don't ask. Easy. Bridgestone's line of distance performance golf balls with dual dimple aerodynamics offer three unique options to fit your game. The E5, the E6, and the E7 runs like a toddler's nose. Bridgestone Golf, bridging the gap between you and the pros. Bridgestone.